Hello, welcome to another moving vlog. I was going to say reading vlog, but that's not what this is. It's currently Thursday afternoon and I've had the day off work, so I've done a bit more of the moving stuff. The house is looking a lot clearer. Most of the boxes are gone into storage, which is great. So tomorrow we have the van coming. So I'm in the process of taking the bed apart. I've done three screws at the moment. I have quite a few more to go. So Quill's currently at work, so I'm going to get started on this. I'm not sure how far through I will get by the time he gets home. Once he's back, we're going to do another trip to the storage unit and then I'm gonna do a bit of tidying up. I decided to start the vlog here today instead of tomorrow just because I was doing something instead of just moving boxes around. I think the plan tonight is to take some boxes to storage plus this chest of drawers here. We're going to take the drawers out and then try and fit it into my car. So we'll see how that goes. I've got the mattress propped up behind me and a whole king size bed to take down. I'll update you a little bit later to let you know how it goes. I'm expecting it to take maybe a couple of hours because I am on my own and I'm not trying to like speed through it or anything. run into a slight issue I don't have a decent enough spanner to get these bolts off so I'm gonna have to look through maybe the tool shed and see if we've got anything that will fit but I did manage to get all the slats off I just now need to get these side bits off and I don't think I have the tools to do so I have actually found this thing which I think came with the bed so <laughs> I'm gonna try it see if it works and I'm gonna try and get these sides down and then I'll have taken the entire bed apart. Not bad going because it's only been about half an hour so far. And that's with me faffing around. So I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, I think it is actually working. Thank God we never throw anything away. This is definitely the trickiest part of the bed. So I need to try to get this little spanner thing into here, which for this one does not leave much space, but it is working with the one that came with it. There's barely any space in here. Like, it's not very deep is what I'm trying to say so yeah it's quite tricky but I'm gonna do it and I'm done so I obviously need to give it a quick hoover because I've not hoovered under the bed in like a year I've just got everything stacked up there for now until we put it in the van tomorrow also overall that only took me about half an hour so not bad going at all I've hoovered and everything is looking clear you can't really tell but it is so I'm going to now take everything downstairs that doesn't need to be up here still so I'm gonna leave the mattress I can't take the chest of drawers down by myself because I'm not quite strong enough and I'm gonna leave all the bedding and stuff because we obviously need it tonight but I've just realized that this is our last night in this house I thought I would be a lot more emotional and also excited but because we're not moving into our house that we're buying straight away i'm not excited and i'm also not emotional either because i really haven't enjoyed living here all that much obviously it started off with our fence being broken for six months after storm kira and the landlord just didn't fix it the shower was awful we had to pay for half of a new shower even though the old shower was awful and taped up and really wasn't great it was like a trickle coming out but the landlord refused to pay for it all themselves so we offered to pay half and we did so we've got a brand new shower installed in someone else's house and then there was the whole viewings thing so we got four to let people into the house to view during covid and i'm really not amused and i will be leaving some awful feedback for the estate agent but i can't do that until i move out and get my deposit back so anyway all of that is to say that i'm not particularly emotional or excited about leaving here but i'm really glad that i am getting stuff done today because i think if today had been like a reading or like relaxing day i'd have felt really stressed tomorrow and this evening as well when quill gets back but at least when he gets back now he doesn't really have to do that much just help me carry things around i feel quite good about myself and I will check in with you later once we go to the storage unit and I think then I'll show you what we've still got left to move and then I'll check in again in the morning which will be moving day. So I've dropped that paper off into the venter and now we are ready to go. Except Quill still needs to go and get the van but after that we will be ready to go. This is what we're currently working with in the bedroom. Just a couple more things to go in there and then just a few things there too. You excited? Mm. You excited? So Paul can go and get the van 
in about an hour or so. Until then, I'm going to read something because there's nothing more I can do until we get the van. The cleaners just got here. They're making a start in the kitchen at the moment. I'm just hanging around because Corf has gone to get the van and then we can start packing stuff up. And fingers crossed, we should only need one van trip. So everything is going smoothly. I'm just heading back to the house now. Quill has, well, we've dropped the van off. Quill has gone to the supermarket to go and get some stuff for this evening. I'm gonna go and grab the suitcases. Hopefully you guys can hear me as well. I'm gonna go grab the suitcases and then we're going to go and check in to the travel lodge. So all in all, it was a successful day. We managed to get all of the stuff into the storage unit. All the stuff that had to go in the van anyway and then we just got a few more things for tomorrow. I've also come out of this with a couple of injuries. Yesterday, something fell on my finger and now I've got a blood blister, I don't know if you can see it. And I'm also freaking limping because I was an idiot and I wasn't wearing sturdy shoes. Hold on, let me just let myself into my house. And so when I opened the like lift, the goods lift, I slammed it on my toe and now my toe is killing me. I just walked about a mile and a half, I think, back from the van rental company. And honestly, my toe is stinging, it feels bruised. I do have sturdier shoes on now. It doesn't seem to be helping and I just want to lie down. So we're gonna, I'm going to wait for Quill to get back. We're going to get in his car, get the suitcases, get all my books as well. And then we're going to head over to the travel lodge so I can check in. We're definitely going to get a takeaway. Also this weekend, Asha, my friend, is hosting a challenge, a readathon challenge. It's Conquer a Chonker. I decided that I would read three books for it. I'm already halfway through one, to be fair. So I need to finish off The Way of Kings and then read two more. So I'm thinking I'm going to read The Water Knife, which I think is like a chonky boy, technically. What was the other one? The Rage of Dragons, which is an uber chonk or a mega chonk, because that's over 500 pages. And in case you don't know, this challenge is one that she does semi-regularly. It's called Conqueror Chonker. Basically, the idea is that you read as many thick books as possible. So <laughs> I'm going to try and do that this weekend and we'll see how it goes, although... I don't think I'm gonna do very well. I've now checked into the travel lodge. It's, what time is it? Six o'clock, almost, and I am exhausted. Quill has gone out to go and pick up some food. He's gonna get fish and chips. I've ordered a Nando's for pickup. Honestly, I am done <laughs> with today. So it was exhausting, but we did manage to get what we wanted to done, so that's good. So tomorrow we can focus on picking up like the little bits and pieces around the house and also cleaning it because we need to tidy up. I am going to have a lie in tomorrow, it's going to be incredible and then I also need to get my MOT done but while I'm waiting for that I'm also going to tidy up some of the house. My toe by the way is killing me so it looks all dented and bent and awful so I'm a bit worried that it's going to get infected but I'm going to keep washing it, hopefully it'll be fine. I'm not going to show it to you because honestly I hope it's going to be okay because I do have a lot of cleaning and stuff to do tomorrow, so I don't want it to be, you know, awful. And then on Monday, I want to start exercising. So yeah, I don't want it to be too bad. So while I wait for Quill to come back with the food, he should be about half an hour, 35 minutes. I'm going to read some more of The Way of Kings and maybe finish it. I do have about 200 pages left. I'm definitely not going to finish it in the next half an hour or so, but I'm going to make some progress with it because I need to read and relax. There's nothing really to show you in the travel lodge if you don't live in the UK, it's basically just your standard cheap hotel room. It's really handy for short stays, so you've got the double bed, we've got alcohol, which didn't come with the travel lodge. We've got a chair, then another chair, a hanger, a TV that I'm not going to use. And we do have a really nice view though. So down there, that's the canal that runs through the town and then you see over the rooftops. So it's really nice, it's just a bit noisy on this side, but it's fine. We're only here 
for a couple of days and then we're heading down to Quill's parents. I'm really glad that I did book the travel lodge to be honest and we're not trying to stay over at the house because I think it would be too messy. We wouldn't have the mattress so it would just be in blankets and you know duvet covers and stuff. So I'm so glad I have this hotel room to kind of just sit back and relax in. So I'm gonna do some reading now while I wait for my food. I am so hungry. Hi it's Saturday and it's cleaning day so this is our last day in the house. Quill has emptied upstairs for me and I am wiping down the skirting boards and hoovering around, wiping down the windowsills and just making sure it's all looking clean. The train's outside but you won't have to put up with it for much longer so I've done the small room already, this is all done, we just need to put oh, I thought we had to put that up but it's already up. And then I'm just in the middle of what was the library room so I just need to hoover up and then I will be done. So it's almost 4pm and we have, well Quill has just gone on his final runs with the storage unit, we've taken the last of the stuff. I am on the final room of the house, I just need to clean this one, then we're going to be done. The dining room is finished, I didn't bother to record anything. It's looking nice and fancy, I've cleaned the floor. Kitchen looks great because we got cleaners in to sort it out. We need to get those plants in the car at some point. So this is what we're left with and I'm so glad we're almost done. All of this stuff is coming with us down to Kent as well as some stuff in the hallway. So I just need to, I've hoovered this bit already, I need to clear some space here, move everything I think over to that end and then tackle that bit last. So at least this part of the room will be sorted and then that's just some stuff I'm taking with me to the hotel room tonight. I'm pleased with this. It has taken all day. We have gone to storage unit several times, twice actually. We've gone to the recycling center. We have gone to Tesco's to buy more bowls because our bowls are all in storage and we're getting Indian takeaway tonight and we just realized we need some bowls. We're going to use our fancy new bowls. I will show you those in a homeware haul, I think. I'm not emotional. I did get a bit emotional when I was cleaning the dining room because that's the room that I have been working from home in. So I've literally spent the last six months of my life there. Otherwise, I don't really care. I just want to be out of this house now. So I'm really happy happy that tomorrow morning we can go and get breakfast and then finally hand in our keys and then drive down to Kent. So I will do a final house tour once I'm done cleaning this room just to show you what it looks like because I don't think, no I definitely haven't shown you the entire house before even though some people did ask for a house tour but I will be doing an empty house tour of my new house when we move in in two weeks so stay tuned for that, subscribe if you haven't already. Okay we are done and this is the part that is the empty house tour so this is where you walk in fell over. This is our downstairs toilet, living room is all clear, dining room that you saw earlier, kitchen with Quill taking photos, evidence, <laughs> and then you walk up the stairs which you've seen a few times already and there's the hallway so bathroom which we haven't touched we got it professionally cleaned, looks fantastic. Our master bedroom, had the bed here, wardrobe here, chest drawers here, don't know if you remember. And then here, this is just a cupboard with a boiler. This is the library room, which is now completely clean and empty. It's quite sad. These ugly lampshades are also up now. They came with the house and they're awful. And then here is what we used to call Octavia's room. And as you can see, super clean. And I'm just really glad we are now done. So we're going to drive and drop my car off at my granddad's because I'm not taking it down to Kent with me. Quill's going to follow me and then we're going to drive and go and get an Indian takeaway. And I'm also going to go and say hello to Octavia. Two front door keys, mm -hmm. the stupid little key fob thing. Ready? You sound sarcastic. I've just had a massive breakfast. I'm so tired. I've had five hours sleep. 
And we handed our keys in though. We handed our keys in this morning. So we're no longer renting, ever. We are not. We are not technically homeless. But we are living with my parents, and I'm not sure which is worse. <laughs> So, I think we looked it up and technically I'm homeless, but you're not. Yeah, Amber is homeless. I'm not homeless because I'm staying with relatives, so. It's focusing on your face instead of mine. Yeah, because I'm beautiful. <laughs> so we're heading down to Ken. <laughs> this is the end of the vlog. I'll be back with, I don't know if I'm going to do my empty house tour first or my moving in vlog, but I'll keep you updated. So thank you for watching. Do you want to thank them? You are welcome. No, thank them. They're watching me. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>